Hi, yeah, this is just a little video just to show you uh, some of the things I've done in my wild hog. I've had it for about three weeks. Um, it's a really good plant to, to learn on, to be honest, because I'm just a beginner myself. Um, I haven't done anything to the motor or battery yet. Um, it's still standard uh, brush motor. It's a little bit underpowered, but not too bad. It'll do for now. Um, what I have done is look, uh, I've taped up the nose. Uh, and the, uh, the underside of the plane purely because there was every time you come into land obviously the nose hits hard and there's chunks get taken out of the plane I mean you can just see some of the the marks there it was ch taking pieces of the plane away and I didn't want to end up with no plane so I decided just to tape it up it got a bit of reinforcement hopefully that'll work um, also with the crashes um, I managed to rip the little pin off there which holds the canopy on so I've had to basically use this rubber strap thing that I just slide off when I want to take this out. Um, I've also got a little hole there for sticking my camera in. Works great. Um, got a little chip in the wing there that I need to cover up. It's no problem. Though. Um, the main mod really is uh, to back. Um, just to extend the rudder a little bit. I don't know if you can see that very well. But this is just a little piece of dinner plate that I could gives you so much more authority um, in the turns because without it you had to be going quite fast to get the airflow over the over the rudder uh, over the stabiliser and rudder um, with that you go a little bit slower and it's a little bit more responsive to, to control um, which is quite handy when you're just learning because obviously you, you make mistakes and you don't want to plough into a field which I've done a few times um, and this was a result of one of them. I ripped the, uh, the elevator off, um, and I've just taped it back on. Uh, dead simple. Just keep the, just connect it all up uh, as normal, but just tape the hinge instead. This one I haven't ripped off yet. You can still see the original hinge, hinges, and this tape just basically it duplicates that functionality. To be honest, and it has the added bonus as well as on the rudder. It has the added, added bonus of uh, making the. the control is more sensitive because there's less play um sorry there's less uh, friction when it comes to the control movements um so actually if i was to buy another one i would probably yeah cut them off anyway and just tape them back on just to get the the better control um the only other thing i've done um also due to the result of a crush is to put tape over the grooves um which have the, the push rods for the servos because when I crashed, I ripped the tail off, and it popped all of this uh, this this out. And after that, it was never the same. Really, whenever I was using this, the the um, the the controls, the wire was flexing and coming out, um, and obviously that was making the the plane less responsive because there was less action happening on the on the rudder. Um, so I've taped it up, and it no longer comes out, and it seems to have fixed it. I don't think you can see it, but definitely worth doing. I would probably do it again if I bought another one. I would probably do it just straight off the bat so I didn't have to do it when the inevitable happens because you will crash it. But that's part of the fun of having a wild hog, to be honest. You can just put some hot glue on, put some tape on, get a bag up in the air, and uh, learn some more. So it's definitely recommended. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to get some FPV gear. In fact, I've just ordered some from Hobby King. Um, going to see how well it copes with that. Probably the next plane I'll get will be a little bit bigger, it'll be probably the Skywalker or something like that, because that comes highly recommended. But for an absolute beginner, this Wild Hog's been amazing. Um, I did actually start off with this rabbit. This is a 2.4 gigahertz Cessna. Um, it has uh, ailerons, which I don't have on the Wild Hog. But the pro great plane, but the problem is. The landing gear was really bad, uh, and I, that, that's a replacement landing gear that I made, and it just just collapses all the time. So I recommend the wire hog because you can land and take off anywhere, not just on concrete. And uh, but yeah, make sure you tape it all up, because otherwise you will end up with chunks out your plane. But uh, anyway, that's my wire hog so far.